our next guest has been featured on PBS's Quilt Central and HGTV's Simply Quilts with Alex Anderson. She's written The Secrets of Elemental Quilting and Mastering the Art of McTavishing, which might give you a clue as to who she is. Let's hear it for Karen McTavish. Yay, Karen! <laughs> Thanks for having me here. That's great. Well, Karen, you're going to tell us a little bit about one of the most important advantages you see with the American Professional Quilting System oh, machine. There's so many great different options on these machines that sets them apart. Um, you know, first of all, you know, Don talked about the belt drive and, and you know, my favorite thing about the Millennium and the APQS machine is the stitches, you know, because that's really That's what important. it's all about, isn't right. it? Right. <laughs> you want to look really good. And the stitch regulated APQS machines, I feel, are the finest stitch regular machines on the market. Um, what they have, let's just okay, go around okay, real all quick. Right. Okay. Um, what they have, we call it the smart bobbin, and the smart bobbin is like a domestic machine, where a domestic machine has the small bobbins, right? Yeah. And this is a pre-wound, yeah. and, and, <laughs> and it just, you know, it's loaded with thread. A smart bobbin is just like the domestic machines where, you know, the bigger, larger bobbins, um, they, they call it the M-sized bobbin. They create this inertia. You know, we talk about movement. Uh, you know, when we move the machine, it keeps moving. Mm -hmm. Inertia is kind of the same thing, you know. Uh, the needle bar is moving at a certain speed. Well, the bobbin, you know, goes twice as fast. So sometimes if you have too big of a bobbin, you get a loop oh. or the thread kind of bubbles up on the top and you have bad tension. Um, the, the smart bobbin will prevent all that. So well, really set that bobbin down so we can kind of sure. take, a, take a look at it. And uh, I know that tension and stitch quality mm -hmm. was one of the main things that motivated you to switch brands of long arm machines to switch to an APQS, which you feel is a way better machine. Right. I went on a, on a mission to find the best stitch regulator on the market because my, I'll be honest, judges were calling me on my inconsistent stitches and I had a stitch regulated machine when I switched to APQS, that completely stopped. And I, I just, it makes me look better than I actually am. Well, so that smart bobbin helps. You know, think no, about no. that bobbin, I was just thinking as Karen was explaining, is you'd think a bigger bobbin would be an advantage because it would hold more thread. And really, you know, the, the, a, yeah, the, the there, it's kind of a trade-off. There ain't no such thing as a free lunch. No, you know? right. Yeah. 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 There's a trade-off somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I love, you know, you mentioned pre-wound, which is great because you can buy mm -hmm. whole packages of pre-wound mm -hmm. bobbins, so you don't have to stop quilting. You just put another one in. Yep, it's so really we've got fast. a great stitch regulator. We've got that smart bobbin. And what happens with Which that, helps with tension. Yeah, and then you have the ability to run any thread you'd like. You know, the decorative, beautiful threads you see out there, the variegated threads, the poly threads. We even um, run 100 weight silk thread in the tiny little oh, spools from the oh, back. That's amazing. And because of the disc on this machine, it right. will handle that? Well, I'm, you know, I don't like to program VCRs and stuff like that. You know, I just want it to be easy. Mm -hmm. Do and any so, of us like to do that? Well, you no. know, no. It's, oh. it looks big and intimidating, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's just really simple thread guides. And this just is um, really easy to adjust. Let's say I want to use a really heavy cotton thread. I can just tweak it a little bit, and, and it's by feel. You can feel that oh. it, if it's going to break or not. And then you can tighten it up if you, you know, you're using a thinner thread. So, so is it's it the same old righty tighty lefty loosey kind of concept. Yeah, huh? it's about feel, and you get to know your machine really fast. So by feel, you mean how easily you can pull the thread I through the like needle? I feel like if it's gonna if it's gonna break, you back it off. If you feel like it's gonna break through yeah. the needle, back it oh, off. Okay. I'm gonna use that myself. You know, I can understand that. You'll get to know your machine in three days. You know, you just you'll know um, how it feels when you pull the thread through. So if it's really thick thread, it's really easy to back it off. If it's thin, you just tighten it up a little. Um, there's no, um, you know, magic trick to this. It's just not, it's not hard at all. So the combination of the stitch regulator, the smart bobbin, and the tension adjustment, which is easy to get to, helps you get a really fine stitch quality, which was mm -hmm. one of your goals in duplicating the look of hand quilting. Right. And, and just to 
add another thing. Um, I really wanted customer service. I just wanted that in mm -hmm. my life, and they're there for me. For you mm -hmm. know, it's the first year it was operator error. I'll admit, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. really when you need somebody and, to talk. But to. it's still nice that they're there. I really don't call them at all, but they walk me through any problem I had. You know, when I first got the machine, and it was always usually me. So. Well, and but then that's good to know, and, and they probably can answer those questions right away because they've heard it before with other first year owners. Mm -hmm. And really, I know when my computer won't work or I have a, mm -hmm. the light was out on my sewing machine, we don't want to stop our love of quilting mm -hmm. and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And any ways there are to help us continue moving forward, that is a huge benefit. Well, I went through a representative, and um, she was available to me 24-7, phone call away, email away. Wow. It was really oh, a nice personal relationship. As much as your family loves you, <laughs> I feel like I'm a part of this this new APQ. Well, well, family. well, and your family yeah. can't fix your machine for you. You're well. a regular family. <laughs> I'm, yeah, you pretty much, yeah, you need to give them a call. You know, I don't really have any problems. It's a couple of oil drops, and that's about it for maintenance. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to demonstrate a little Sure. Yeah, you're I'm, so famous for your McTavishing. Would I, you would you do some of sure, that? Because I'd like to see. Love to. Um, I've looked at your book, but I'd like to see you actually do it. I'm going to show you not non-stitch regulated and stitch regulated. So this is non-stitch regulated mode, and I like to go a little faster. And non-stitch regulated mode means you kind of got to um, watch your speed of your machine, so you don't get big giant toenail pickers, is what yeah. I call them. You know, big yep, stitches. that's a little too big. Judges kind of like to see consistent stitches. So this is what a, you know, and my flow is really easy. Um, I can, my curves are really natural when I'm using mm -hmm. the non-stitch regulated mode. And you don't have a death grip on those handles. You're just it's lightly the lightest touch, mm -hmm. which helps for um, shoulder issues in the future, aren't you, you know, like you don't, you're not in pain. Aren't you impressed? You can talk while she's yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, I usually have to uh -huh. kind of, I can talk during most things, but yeah. <laughs> mm, I got to concentrate on this, yeah. but you know, I'm getting better all the time. So the McTavishing is, is a, the name that has sort of grown up around the style of quilting that you do. Um, it, it's just an alternative to stippling. Okay. You know that meandering? Yeah. It turned into stippling and then it turned into micro stippling. So it, it's just a good background filler that's fun and it creates movement behind applique. I'm going to show you the stitch regulated mode. Okay. And that's now, when you hear the little bird chirp. Yes. Yeah. We love that bird. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the judges' critiques on on McTavishing said, machine quilter appears to be having way too much fun quilting this quilt. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I that's couldn't really tell cute. if that yeah, was, you know. that's a great judge. I can just show you a couple of things up on the wall yeah, there. Yeah, you brought yeah, some quilts. Okay. Let's take a look. Um, I, I love to traditionally quilt, and I love to, um, I actually love hand quilting. That's my first passion. I, I want to look like a hand quilter no matter what. And so what I like to do is trick people, yeah. make them think that oh, that's hand quilted, but actually it's on a long arm. And then, okay. and, um, and what I get is I, I just feel like, um, if I look like a hand quilter, I get the respect that yes. machine quilting deserves. Des exactly. Yeah, so. With machine quilting, mm -hmm. you can do such intricate things, and the amount of quilting that you can put in a quilt is staggering. Mm -hmm. And unless you've got your nose right against your quilt, Karen, it, it, looks, look, it looks like a classic, from here. a classic whole cloth with, is it shadow <laughs> trapunto? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, it's color trapunto. Yeah, yeah, color trapunto. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. absolutely Ooh. stunning. And it, I, I love the idea of someone going up there, maybe a non-quilter, and going up and say, oh, now here's a hand quilt. I have, quilt, I have, you I have, know? A, I have the greatest story. I have, it was at the Minnesota State Fair when the Best of Show Sweeps Yay! 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 And, um, you know how um, when you're in the quilting industry, sometimes you hang out and listen to mm -hmm. people's comments or you send the kid in so the kid yeah. can hear it and then mm -hmm. they repeat it. Um, <laughs> I don't do it anymore because one time my daughter came back and she said, uh, what does convoluted mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's not so good. No, yeah. no. And so basically um, I was listening to a mother-daughter fight over, you know, oh, look at that hand quilted quilt. Uh -huh. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And she goes, Mom, it's, it says Best Machine Quilting. She goes, oh, no, that's a hand quilted quilt. And she said, no, look, Best Machine Quilting. And, and she said, oh, never mind. You knew you made so it. You reached at, your goal. Well, well, at that point, I was new in the you know, quilting world. And so at that point, I said, I'm going to make every quilt I do look like a hand quilted quilt. Yeah, and so and I can achieve that on a long arm, no problem. So part of that, that, what you went for, is that 
great stitch quality that makes it look hand quilted, and you found that great mm -hmm. stitch quality on the APQS long arm machine. Absolutely. You can control it. Yeah. Well, let's look at your yeah. other quilt that you brought. Oh, it's just it's an applique quilt. It's more um, innovative and more non-traditional, but it incorporates that McTavishing in the background filler. And um, I gave it to my sister-in-law, and she gave it back to me because the borders made her um, sick to her stomach. <laughs> well. <laughs> you know, you always have yeah, one in the family. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it just goes to show that you can take traditional applique motifs, mm -hmm. and you can stitch around those with the stitch control in the ditch, yeah. that you have yeah. to get around those applique pieces and fill in those backgrounds and really duplicate the look of hand quilting my on mo my motto, machine. My motto is, what would a hand quilter do? Do the hardest thing and never take a shortcut. Well, That's all true. one motto. That well, is a yeah. heck of a great yeah. motto. Yeah. Well, thank I'm you impressed. So much That's for so coming great. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's sensational, Karen. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. It Thanks. was great. Thank it was you. great. Thank, Thank you. you.